Hangout today on LATimes.com. I'm Shelby Gregg. We're live at the LA Times newsroom, and of course, we're talking about the Space Shuttle Endeavor, which is uh, beginning a very slow move across the streets of LA in what is going to be a nail biting ride from LAX to the California Science Center. And uh, we're going to talk about this today with Laura Nelson and um, Samantha Schaefer, who have both been tracking this all day. Welcome, both of you. Hey, Shelby. Okay, well, Laura, let's start with you. You've been in our nerve center, which is the city desk, which is really a regular desk, taking in feeds and getting the color from both all our photographers and reporters. What has the scene been like the last few hours? Sure. So, well, it started out last night around 1130 when the shuttle left LAX and started its very slow crawl toward the intersection where it is right now, which is um, on Sepulveda Boulevard in Westchester. It's parked in this parking lot in a strip mall, and it's waiting there until about 1.30, it's leaving right now for its next location. So as it was there for about eight hours, people were coming by, they were bringing their kids before they went to school, they were having breakfast and looking at this huge shuttle, which is roughly the size of a Boeing 747. Um, it was a pretty festive atmosphere. People were really excited. People were hawking t-shirts and posters. Um, and there were a lot of businesses that were offering either extended hours or some kind of special for the day. Uh, so a lot of businesses were taking advantage of the atmosphere there. Um, and then right about now, it's going to start heading to its next location, which is just off the 405 on Manchester. Right. And I guess the, the uh, this is a two-day event, which will probably end, if all goes well, tomorrow night at the California Science Center Exposition Park. But in terms of today's route, Really, the next big test for the shuttle is getting over the 405 freeway. Can you kind of give us a little bit of itinerary about the next few hours? Yeah, that's right. So the shuttle is going to start heading east toward the 405. Um, the problem is, there's two main problems. The first is these power lines that are too short for the shuttle to go through. And so there are cranes that are actually lifting up these power lines so that the shuttle can pass underneath. And then once that happens, they're also going to hoist the shuttle onto a dolly to take it across the 405. The problem being the current transportation mechanism that they're using is not approved by Caltrans. So they have to get it onto this other vehicle to get it across the freeway and then get it back onto what they've been using right now. So those are the two main events that are going to be happening. Right. And then, of course, as, as you guys, for, for all two of you who watched yesterday's chat, will recall the uh, big test is actually to come on Saturday when they have to go through Crenshaw Drive where the clearance will just be a few inches between the houses and the shuttle and uh, zigzagging through those palm trees on Martin Luther King Boulevard. So we'll be definitely out tomorrow to see if they make any mistakes. But let's turn it over to uh, Sam now. Sam has been curating many, many photos that you guys have sent in, as well as our photographers have sent in. And uh, Sam, what do the photos look like so far? Um, hi, Shelby. So let me just share my screen here. Um, we have our framework blog and also some reader submitted photos. So these are the photos that our photographers have been out taking since early this morning of the shuttle. And you can see here it's parked in this parking lot in Westchester. Um, you know, there are people going up in cherry pickers and taking photos of the shuttle and selling them. And like Laura mentioned, there are people, you know, selling posters and, and t-shirts and whatnot. And a lot of people coming to just take photos with the shuttle. Um, here's a picture of some of the workmen taking down some of the light poles and, you know, people taking photos on the light poles with the shuttle. And um, we also have our reader photo gallery here, and um, a lot of readers have just been sending photos of themselves in front of the shuttle, photos that um, they've taken of the back of the shuttle, you know, different different places in this parking lot where it's sitting uh, in Westchester. And readers can submit photos by tweeting them at LA Times with the hashtag spot the shuttle. Can you, can you explain how this timeline works? It looks like there's some sort of organization to it. Um, this this is uh, just where readers can submit photos. They can upload them here and, and tweet them in as well. And we also have this timeline running, and this shows where the shuttle is. Um, so it's right here on this map. You can see it at the wow. intersection of La Tijera and Sepulveda Boulevard. Uh, so we're able to kind of map the route the shuttle is taking as it's moving along with our coverage. Uh, so you can see here's... Uh, Here's Randy's donuts, donuts. Yes. and uh, I'm familiar with. <laughs> here's here's the whole shuttle route uh, that it will be taking. 
Very nice. That looks great. Now, um, one of the things I think is interesting, uh, Sam, is that you know some of the photos look sort of routine because we've seen the shuttle before, but the ones that really are dramatic is when you kind of see them in scale with the streetscape, you know, next to those fallen down street lamps, or you know, sort of in scale with a building. And some of those will be interesting. We'll see a lot more of those tomorrow and later today when it actually gets on to the street. Right, right. I'm sure um, a lot more people are going to take uh, a ton more photos of, of that shuttle just kind of in the middle of, of their neighborhood. Uh, some people were saying that, you know, they, they know they can see the shuttle when it gets to the museum, but they drive through these streets every single day. So it's just kind of cool for them to see the shuttle in, you know, their own backyard. Yeah, and it, it, that, that one that everyone's been talking about, the one with that lady and her uh child sitting on the street lamp but behind the shuttle it uh, has that sort of very LA apocalyptic sort of look to it. <laughs> Definitely. That was sort of a rhetorical question. But anyway, so um, uh, Laura, so uh, tomorrow um, is going to be the big day where we have the public events and where most of that um, is going through. I guess uh, so far it seems like things are kind of on track. Yeah, you know, everything is moving pretty much according to schedule. The shuttle got to the parking lot where it is right now a little bit later than they expected. So to make up for that, they're moving a little bit earlier than they thought. So tomorrow they're going to be moving through a couple of major South LA um, landmarks. They're going to be going to past Inglewood City Hall. They're going to be stopping at the Forum. And they're also going to be stopping at Crenshaw and MLK for Debbie Allen's dance party, um, a big choreographed number to welcome the shuttle to the neighborhood. And then it'll be getting to the California Science Center around 9 p.m. tomorrow night. OK. Well, thank you guys both for coming in and talking about this. We will be back uh, throughout the weekend with more uh, Hangouts and uh, more coverage than you kind of probably thought possible about the Space Shuttle. And uh, so stay with us at LATimes.com. And Sam, what's the uh, Twitter tag again for the uh, those shuttle photos? Um, tweet at LA Times with the hashtag spot the shuttle to submit your photos of the shuttle. OK. Well, I almost got that right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon, OK? Thanks, Shelby.